hello viewers welcome back to another video hope everyone is doing okay and staying safe thanks for stopping by here uh, in this video today i'll be making apple crumble and this is a sweet crunchy and uh, tangy dessert or afters it's really nice very nice and um, I use cooking apple instead of using the normal apple that you just buy and wash and eat and with the cooking apples I steam them sort of steam them to get the extra flavor before using them in my in my dessert So for this apple combo, I, I go ahead and wash, peel and chop my apples, rather um, cut my apples into cubes. Uh, you can cut them in whatever shape you like and um, it's perfect whichever way, it's fine. And I'll leave them to steam for about five minutes now to put them to steam i i use apple juice if you don't have apple juice then go ahead and use pineapple juice whatever you can find you use what you have it works and um after leaving them to steam then in the meantime i go ahead and start make preparing my my crumble my crumble is made from flour, oats, and butter. The butter that I'll be using, it's, it's cold. It's not as when you're making cakes, then you get everything to room temperature. This one is, um, you use a, a cold, cold butter, so it's, it's reverse now if you find it easier uh cutting your butter in cubes then it's fine but i i did not do that i went ahead and used it just as i scooped it from my my butter tin and that's it and um after my my apples are steamed i went ahead and i melt butter and the butter that i melted it was placed at the bottom of my baking um, tray or baking glass, baking tin, whatever you choose. And um, I had uh, my steamed apple, apples, um, cinnamon powder, and sugar. I choose to use brown sugar. You can use caster sugar or um, normal white sugar, but I, I prefer the brown sugar i think it adds more flavor to my crumble then moving on from there i um sort of mix all the ingredients together and then after i'll top it off with the crumble that i made from butter oats and flour and I also added, um, before I forget, I also added lemon juice to the apple mixture. So before you know it, uh, you put this to um, bake for 40 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven. And then it's, it's ready to serve, even as it comes out of the oven, it's ready to serve. You're hot or cold, it, it's beautiful. And um, this can be served with ice cream of your choice, uh, custard or evercream. It's fine, it is wonderful. If you have any question about this video, please feel free to leave it in the comments. 
Uh, if you like it, please like it. Um, subscribe to this channel and I'll continue to make more of these videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.